Hello Virgo, this is your March 2019 reading. So, we're going to pull a card from the Namaste deck first as your overall, <clears throat> excuse me, guiding theme, okay, for the energy of your reading for March. So, this is the Aquarian Tarot that's been pre-shuffled, cut, and all that, and we're going to do a little bit more on camera, so, so you can see for yourself. The shufflings. All right. Oh, let's get one more here. Okay. Most high y'all. What do we have for Virgo for March 2019? What is the overall blessing guiding this reading? One Namaste Oracle card, please. The most High God. What's the most important message in this deck that you have for Virgo for March 2019? What is the overall guiding energetic theme Ooh, for this reading? There we go. Oh, okay, this came up for, uh, who have I done up to, uh, well, up to you, so, <laughs> I think this was, um, uh, I want to say, maybe Aries, Aries or Gemini, you might want to check out those readings, I think Gemini, could, could be Aries though, it's one of, one of the, one of the two, I believe. So this is the Om Shanti Peace Blessing, okay? Om Shanti, blessed are you with everything. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> with everlasting. Oh, with everything. So everything that's ever <laughs> everlasting, right? Okay. Everything that, which is, everything which is eternal. Okay. Let's start over. <laughs> Om Shanti, blessed are you with everlasting peace beyond words or understanding. Blessed are you with tranquility and bliss. Blessed are you with the clarity that reveals the beauty of your soul and through which all appears as infinite. Okay, I knew that See, I like eternal, but it says infinite. Okay, so there's your message. Coming in focus. Okay. So there it is for March. Om. Uh, um, oh, I just got mwah, like a kiss. Oh, okay. Maybe there's some love coming in for, okay. Um, also got moo. Like Lemuria. So, it's a, yeah, peace, bliss, love. Ah is God, okay, and upliftment. So, and look at that picture. It's like everything coming alive. Everything has a spirit. The mountain, the air, all the little, down to every little grain, okay? Everything is alive. Everything has energy. Okay. Virgo, what do we got on the bottom here? Namaste blessing. Oh, very nice. And a blessed heart. Beautiful. Interesting. Look at this. This is Namaste blessing. And it's it's like a closer up. This is like a closer up version of that card. I think. Is that devil's tower? <laughs> tower. Tower powder. Yeah. Oh. Turn that tower into powder? Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, Virgo's about ready to fuck it up. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so let's get, let's see what we got for the tarot here for you. Wow. A tower into powder. Oh, we have the ten of pentacles starting on the bottom there. And I just saw the lover's card, so. Wow. You might have a windfall of goodness coming in. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. <laughs> yeah, something hidden maybe that you don't know about yet.
Like, victory all for you. Six of Wands, Ten of Cups, King of Cups. I told you, that's something wrong. I'm feeling like that love coming in, Virgo. Okay. For some reason, I feel like taking the card right off the top. Huh. Beautiful. Ha ha! Queen of Cups. What I tell... What's on the bottom? Knave of Cups. So you're either you or someone. Might be you, because you are Merc Mercurian ruled, new and Gemini, and I think Gemini was the one that got that same card, the Om Shanti. Okay, so maybe it's you who's very clear about offering your love. Either that, or you're very clear about who someone, somebody who is interested in offering their love to you, perhaps, so, but very, like, loving, like, friendship, oh, yeah, see, full card, very, just, zero point, fun, okay, I was getting, like, just, yeah, joy, bliss, tranquility, fun, fun loving, okay, doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, could be, though, but I just see it as just beautiful friendship, I don't know, though, because when the fool came out, we had queen of raw, <laughs> Queen of Rods on the bottom, Ace of Cups. So this is some big, passionate love. I <laughs> saw so Virgo. Uh-oh. Hold on to your bootstraps. Hold on to your reins. Hold on to your hat. <laughs> Virgo, here you are. So uh, either way, I said so, either you, you will be... Com okay. Hermit. That's Virgo. That's you all day. So either you're going deep within, or that person's going deep within, or this is just you communicating, or, you know, holding your ground against some, you know, I love this person, and you're declaring it, and you're, okay, or someone's coming to you to communicate that to you. <clears throat> I, I really feel like it's you, though, but, I mean, you, you this could still be your energy, loving, open, receptive, uh, okay, so... You're like, I could go either way with it. I could reach out to you. They could, I could be open to getting communication. For, okay, this wanted to just flipped out of my hand because this was a little loose here on the deck. So there's... Could have been someone. There was some heartbreak, some struggles, some feeling trapped in a relationship, arguments. Okay, so yeah, it could be someone perhaps that you were defensive against in the in the past, okay, that you're now more open to. Okay. Let's see what else we get here. Virgo. I think it's looking good, though. I feel like... I see Ten of Cups, Ten of Pens keep sticking out, but then there are, like, swords, struggles, you know, heartbreak, and... I, th I feel like you went through a lot of that already because it's like going deep within with that hermit card to figure out who you truly are, the full card, that true authentic self. Um, so that involves who you love, what your passions are, what, you know, what your purpose is on this earth. And that seven of wands is really, um, inner communication, battling yourself, all the different opinions within you. <laughs> okay. So this is kind of like what I'm saying. Because um, I saw five of wands was on the bottom, that eight of swords was on the top, and that three of swords poked out. So then we have magician on the bottom. Okay. So maybe someone was manipulative. Maybe you or the other person had their heart blocked. Okay. All right. So this is Mercury. Okay. That can be considered Virgo and Gemini. So what was on the, oh yeah, four. Okay. So f yeah, because we have Eight of Swords, Emperor, Three of Cups, World Card, and King of Rods. So, so basically we got a 
fuck shit stack over here. <laughs> okay. This is what I'm saying. Like. Okay. I kind of feel like maybe you played the fool in love and all that and thought you had love and then, you know, thought you were complete. The king of your castle on top of the hill. The king of Raz, Emperor, world card, got it all complete. Love. Feeling good within yourself. Very passionate, okay. Um, maybe traveled around with this person. Uh, could, oh, see, there's a net more. Could I said Aquarius? No, I said yeah, Gemini or um, Aries. This could be considered Aries too. The full card, okay. Um, and we have King of Rods there with the Emperor. So some of you could have been dealing with an Aries. This represents Saturn, okay, and the uh, four fixed signs. So, uh, what are they? Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and um, Aquarius. Okay, so it could be Aquarius that you're dealing with. I see the full as Aquarius as well. Or another Virgo. Or perhaps a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I'm, I see big um, Aries energy actually um because seven of rods so the energy between you or the energy this person brought out and used that seven of wands to fire defensiveness communication standing your ground throat chakra activation popping off <laughs> like airy do like airy be doing like every do every day okay so it's like maybe there's a third party situation. Maybe it was the other person. Okay, maybe it was this Aries. I'm really sensing Aries, okay? And, you know, third party, maybe, because, you know, Aries is all over the motherfucking place, yeah? Okay. <laughs> right? All around the world. I got a girlfriend over here, girlfriend over there, or a boyfriend over there, or maybe girlfriend and boyfriend. Who knows? Shit. Maybe all different families and stuff. Maybe four different motherfucking families. Um, so something, like, you felt bound, okay? Um... Or this other person, maybe you you were serious. They felt bound, okay, because you wanted to be serious and they wanted to travel around, have fun, be the king of their own castle, and no one can tell me shit, okay? I feel like you really love this person or you were just really ready for love, okay? And, it, and maybe it's just there's some karmic clearing. It's like when you're ready for love, it's like, oh, you, they're ready? Okay, well, they're a little bit of... Spiritual surgery has to happen to prepare you for this love, okay? So you may think you're ready, but God, you know, is always looking out for us, right? So wants to make sure that we don't keep in these cycles of pain, these these loops, these patterns of behavior that keep us stuck. So I feel like you're free. This It's like a cycle that has closed, though, and you've freed yourself from that because we have the world card with the eight of swords okay and you came out as the queen of cups so it's like a journey back to self okay queen of cups full with the hermit you had to go deep within and, and that inner communication okay you and your higher self you and god you and the four elements within your body the ether you and your own ether okay this is like your ether communicating with your akash with your higher self that with the hermit card okay and that's you virgo that represents virgo so <sighs> did i mention capricorn I, I think i said saturn but saturn rules capricorn so possibly capricorn i'm getting mostly aries though possibly another virgo like i said because um then we see the magician card so yeah it was on the bottom there so, like I said, another Virgo, possibly Gemini as well. Like I said, though, heavy, heavy Aries. Okay, let's see. Let's pull one just from the middle here. Yeah. Two of Cups. Okay, so this is you loving yourself. Masculine, feminine energy within. That's what's going to eliminate any third-party situations. Okay, and once you do this, then you, you will align naturally. It's a natural progression. You will align with another person who has done this, and 
you won't have to worry either way on either side. Okay, there won't be any third party situations. Okay, it's like the three down to the two. Okay, someone's gotta go. Okay. But I feel like it's complete. I, you know, because yeah, see, there's that queen of swords again. I feel like you've, you've made that decision and yeah, walking away from the person with the third party situation. Okay. Or they're walking away from you. But I, I, I really feel like you're the one who's ready for love, ready, open. Cause you came out queen of cups and with the fool and the, it's just like, uh, and just karmic balancing things that needed to clear. God sees that you're finally ready for love. Okay. Or ready, um, for this new higher level of love. Okay. So it's like, oh, you're ready for this divine partnership now. Oh, okay. So, well then <laughs> there's some shadow work, just spelunking and communicating, going into the spelunking down into the endless abyss of the self. Okay. So that the only one you're hearing from is you. The only one talking is you and the only one listening is you. You, 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 you. It begins and ends with you. So this is what the, it's like round and round and round. It's like in the deprivation chamber until all the chatter blah, 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 eventually it has nowhere to go and then it just runs out of gas. Okay? And it's just now you there alone with your thoughts. I feel like that it was feel it was making you feel trapped. And you're just like, I just want true love. It's like, or maybe you thought that was fine for a while and you were just kind of open and then you started falling in love with the person. Okay. Maybe you didn't, you know, so everything's divine. That experience was to bring you closer to yourself. Okay. So maybe there's just, you know, there's all these elements within. Okay. feel like a time of protection while you discover the magic of your own heart. Okay. All right, Virgo, there's your March reading, love, peace, and blessings.